Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so as you can see my satellite network is coming along very nicely and uh, we're gonna launch the last satellite. At least try. Um, you can see uh, we did not make it to the full 90 degrees uh, with our main command module with one last satellite attached to it. I'm gonna get this one obviously right in this kind of area and you can see our satellites are orbiting pretty nicely right now I mean the grid isn't going to be perfect and uh, you know there's only so much I can do what I'm going to end up doing off camera though obviously um, just because it takes so unbelievably long to get these perfect and then you mess up a lot of things and you have to go back and change and do all kinds of crazy things is I will be bringing this down towards the center uh, that is kind of a lengthy process but basically it requires you to do a burn right here and right here and you keep on doing those burns until you bring this down right into the center there that way they're all perfectly lined up and you don't have this weird looking gap here of you know however many you know kilometers that is or whatever but we'll, we'll figure it out overall we'll, we'll figure it out it, it's not, not gonna be that hard now the one thing I'm kind of concerned about is the lack of fuel and um, what I'm going to be doing in order to try to reach this last waypoint uh, you know it's gonna be a little bit of a problem so we need to get this on another 45 degree angle so we're gonna set this as a target and I believe we almost got it to 45 degrees. It shouldn't take too long. Here, um, let's see. It's gonna have to be at, um, yeah, bring this down a lot. Yeah, we, we already surpassed it. Bring it back up. Now this one is going to, it obviously this one isn't going to be on there perfectly either. I'm going to go on and change it afterwards, but I think we need it at, um, it's going to be 90 plus 45. Uh, I suck at math in my head. It's going to be 135, yeah, 135. Oh God, that just got deleted. Perfect. Um, bring this over. See, I remember back in school, when I was in elementary school, um, and, and even in high school, I remember my teachers always saying, oh, well, you know, you can't just use a calculator for everything. It's not like at one point in your life you're going to be able to carry a calculator around in your pocket. And it's like, yeah, you, you were right about that for a whole 10 seconds. Now they have these things called cell phones. But, yeah, 135 we need to get to. Stop canceling the node there. All right, perfect. Bring this back up a little bit. We need to hit 135. It's going to be a little bit of a process doing this. 138. All right. A little bit down, I think. No, a little bit just away. So, all right, 136, 135.4, let's see, um, bring this down a little bit, 134, so if I do a little bit of a burn, retrograde, See, this is the worst part about it, I think, and it's going to be the most boring part for you guys, and I'm kind of sorry for this, but, you know, I wanted to show how you would set something up like this, and I, I think I'm going to leave it here like that. That's probably going to be the best I can get. So, this is going to be a very big burn, and what I'm going to do to kind of offset some of the fuel usage... I guess is um, I'm gonna try to see what I can get 
with just RCS ports, and I really don't know how w well that's going to go. I'll probably end up speeding that part up, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So I'm, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this one, even if uh, this one is probably not going to be lined up as well as the others, but it... I'm, I, I gotta do something in order to kind of salvage this because it's really not gonna work out that well so let's start our burn our very incredibly slow burn I, I'm just a little scared to run out of fuel with um, the main stage on the uh, satellite because that's going to suck to have to do a last correction burn with that. So, it really doesn't look like we're doing any justice at all. If not any, with RCS. So, I think what I'm just going to do... And since I've consumed so much of this RCS fuel, I'm trying to consume as much as I can, at least for right now. Uh, basically trying to dump it out of here and get rid of it out of this tank because it all the only thing it's doing if it's in this tank is basically slowing us down so there's no point in carrying extra weight when you're not even gonna be able to use it in the first place so let's see how much we got left can we do we have enough to dump yes I think we do so let's let's get rid of all of this even if there's only like one unit left um, you know what, I think I can get rid of the rest of this here real quick. There we go. Alright, now let's uh, let's just decouple. It'd be nice if I had more decouplers. I could use the decouplers to push this thing out, like, just really far away. So, let's try to get this. I, I don't want it. I'm just scared to have to do my burn only with uh, the ion engine on board which would really suck because it's just intensely slow so let's set this as target here um, just keep doing our burn we need to hit 135 just keep that on center everything's looking pretty good though I mean I did bring a little bit more fuel because the first time I launched with this configuration I had the half tank because I was like oh yeah this thing doesn't consume fuel that bad I think I'll be fine and uh, I really wasn't so but I mean overall this is looking pretty good it, it's working out pretty good but we need to get 135 135 is what we need looks like we, we're gonna set up a rendezvous too here in a second passing pretty close to each other too I do say but this is gonna come down dramatically I believe and then it, it stood it should start coming back up again eventually if not we're gonna have lots of problems we're gonna deorbit a satellite which uh, apparently I was reading uh, you know I don't do too much reading about space stuff I mean it don't get me wrong I love space but sometimes uh, like I don't really go into like Wikipedia uh, articles and stuff like that and just read about one specific spacecraft or you know whatever for hours on end but um, I kind of got interested in the whole space debris thing and um, yeah apparently that is like one of the major problems going on right now um, as far as like space debris and everything else and uh, stuff being exploded in low earth orbit like the solid rocket boosters and such um, just amazing stuff like I just couldn't believe how bad it actually is they actually have pictures of it almost looks like Kerbal Space Program it's the funniest thing uh, they have pictures of you know all the documented space debris and stuff like that and it is just like intense on how much stuff there actually is just flying around out there so I just I never really knew it was that bad I did have somewhat of an idea you know considering the fact that like Apollo missions they had like exploding bolts on the craft and 
you know, you, you got chips of paint and everything else. And we did just run out of fuel. Amazing. So, bye-bye to this stage. And I don't know why, but it, it keeps it with here. But it, it keeps it with that uh, spacecraft or whatever if you want to call it that. Um, just silliness, I do say. A silliness. Um, I thought it just activated this, but whatever. All right, there we go. Let's bring this down a little bit because it kind of got screwed up. We get to do the rest of our burn with the ion engine, which is going to be like watching paint dry. Which I think what I'm going to do is, all right, how low are we? Um, not that bad, actually. I'm going to spin this around. Uh, you can see all the satellites. They're all, they all are kind of sticking around the same spots which isn't too bad it's looking pretty good so far this one um obviously will be deleted later i just haven't gotten around to it i'm just gonna set this burn up here um no not that and bring this down a little bit more and then see what we can get 135 is what we need that's our magic number So 135.3, spring that up. It's just amazing on how, you know, like I really never put much thought into building stuff like this as far as like satellite systems and stuff like that. And it really is just absolute you gotta be like almost 100% on the spot, otherwise it just doesn't turn out right, so. Let's see, we need 184. Let's see what this ion engine can do for us, if it can do any justice at all. Which it obviously isn't. But this is the the reason why I put these on here is because I kind of feared for the fact that I, we wouldn't have enough fuel for um, being able to do all this stuff. But overall, it, it this is working out pretty well. It, it would be nice if I would have put RCS or not RCS but SAS or something on these things to keep them more stable. But you can we only um, you know there's only so much I could pack onto this little box so. This is ex as good as it's going to get. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to speed it up here, and then once we get it into a stable, like, orbit, then, uh, you know, I'll uh, see you on the other side. And we are back, guys. Yeah. So, um, wow. This was like watching grass grow, but um, basically I had to go through... And uh, I ended up deleting a lot of the debris. Um, I do have my debris set to zero, and this is the weirdest part, is something without a command module, but if it does have an SAS unit, it, it's keeping it in the game. And so I had to go through and basically rename all my satellites in order to have, you know, to, to distinguish what's what, so. I ended up burning a lot of xenon, as you can see, um, and I got it into a pretty stable orbit. Now, the only thing I'm really going to have to do is I'm going to have to, if you can see here, um, if I set up my burn, like right here, let's say, and I basically... If I do it on this side, I think it works out better. It will show. Um, no, that didn't work. So put it right here. Um, I believe it is... Which one is it? It, it was the weirdest thing because I ended up setting it up before and it was like no problem for the most part to even uh, move these nodes around and stuff like that. So, um, basically, if I...
burn up a little bit, I think it is. Um, no, I, I don't think it's going to work right here, so I think I'm going to have to do it over here. Um, basically, if I want to bring one side up and bring it into the center over here, um, basically it's going to change what I've already lined up, but then on this side it also is going to fix it pretty well as well but it also might have the possibility of changing our descending nodes again which it, it's a constant battle because once you change it here then you gotta go back and change it in other places and everything else and it's always a constant fight like to get these things perfect I am going to try my hardest to get these all lined up as best as possible but I don't want to spend like an insane amount of time with it and uh you know, obviously, I've shown you guys, I mean, it's really just about the burns, um, kind of where you set them up at. Let's see, what, this is kind of fixing it. Let's see, if I do my burn right there, then will it keep it perfect? And still bring it to the center? Yeah, well, all right, so the ascending node and the descending node won't change, but it might change our altitude a little bit, which is always... It's always easy to fix that, but, you know, this one will stay the same, but this one will change a little bit, which it's not that bad if you only have to adjust on one side. Um, but I could bring this smack into the center, so, but you can see how much fuel that's, or how many meters a second that's going to require. Um, with an ion engine, that is a very long burn. So, I mean, even, even doing like a 50 meter a second change with an ion engine is just like watching paint dry um, but you know what can you do I remember one time I went to Jewel with just ion engines before and basically I fell asleep I set it up the burn was 11 hours I fell asleep and I woke up and uh, for some reason I already overshot Jewel so you know it it's always a crazy thing but anyways guys um, I know this isn't the longest episode, but, uh, yeah, setting up a satellite network is no easy business. Anyways, I will see you next time.